This morning, uh, one of the ducks was dead. All right, there's a gator right there. See him in the middle of the pond? Oh, here he comes, here he comes. See him? See him? Oh my gosh. Look at him. Walk up slowly. We might need a fishing rod. Oh my gosh, dude. We need a fishing rod. All right, there's a gator right there. See him in the middle of the pond? Logan spotted him. Sent me a... Did you save the Snapchat? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Uh, I'll pop it up on the screen right here. He sent me this Snapchat and when I was gone eating and I was like, what? So we came home in a rush before it gets too dark. What is going on, Crows? Welcome back to another video here. Today, as you can tell, we have a baby gator inside our duck pond. First time ever on this property. We really need to, let's see, look at Brenton, he's running full speed. We really need to catch this thing. This morning, uh, one of the ducks was dead. See the black Swedish Pekin? It's the black spotted Pekin duck. It was actually dead on the bank. We had no idea why it had red marks on its neck. And obviously I can't show that on YouTube. But now that this happened, we know exactly what killed it. So it's super easy for even this small of a gator, this is probably like a foot and a half to just grab hold of the wrong spot of the duck and obviously suffocate it. And I think that's what happened because the duck was just out of nowhere, you know what I mean? That doesn't just happen. I have like 20 ducks. Oh, he's feisty too, because he's little. Look, look, look at him chase it. <gasps> See him chase it? Bro. That's what I'm saying. Oh, bro, there he goes, there he goes. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. Here he comes. Messing around. Right. There he goes. He grabbed it. Got him. Yep. That is a, that's an alligator. I spit it. Oh, no. Bro. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, that one was Instant. good. But usually they'll come up for that last breath of air. Take the. I oh, spit it again. <laughs> take that breath of air, and then it gives them enough time to sit down. But since they're small like this, I don't know. He might sit down now that he got hooked twice. This is definitely not the thing to be using, I'll tell you that. Ah, oh, dude, that might have screwed us for tonight. An American alligator can hold this breath, actually. I was just looking this all up because I had a gator in my pond. 120 minutes to 480 minutes. Like, that's a long time. That's, like that's what I'm saying. We might hour. lose our chance if we don't get him. But since he's little, he's really playful. See? Ooh. He literally just keeps eating it. He's hanging on. He's just hanging on the lure right now. Ah, uh, dude, he'll freaking sit under there for hours. It's a challenge. Like, this is literally, and the only reason why I'm even going this far into trying to get a little alligator out of my pond is because of the duck situation. I don't want any of my other animals to get hurt. So this is in order to prevent something like that happening. Is the mic on? Yep. Thank God. <laughs> dude, I really hope we didn't lose our chance for it tonight. Oh, what are you doing? Look at her. Look at her. See, normally the ducks would be, you know, out and about doing their thing. And they'd be they'd be roaming around, but as of now, well, they're all just sitting there in, in one spot due to the fact that their best friend got eaten. So we're not trying to have that happen. I think that's why they're staying over there. All right. So this is I used to fish for years, and a lot of people that don't even fish know what this is. <laughs> not trying to like Sam I'm so good or something. I don't know. But this is a this is a treble hook. It's just it's called the treble hook because try three three different hooks. So when you're catching big gators, like the gators that people eat, they use big versions of this, like massive versions of this treble hook. Very large. Very large, because they're getting like nine foot gators. We live in Florida, it's very common. Florida, American alligator. They're native to this state. So we don't want to harm it in any sort of way. Also, because you're not really supposed to be even messing with them in general. It's all my property, there is rules and regulations. I've looked it all up. I could call up WC if I wasn't comfortable with doing this myself. Anything over four feet actually has to be called in. You're not allowed to like touch it because it's considered a threat. I physically could not kill this alligator though if I wanted to. I'd have to call off WC and they would do their thing with it. Bottom line is, this thing is definitely not four feet. So I'm gonna do what I can to I'm protect my em. animals, my livestock, you know? It's just part of the job and uh, an alligator's in my pond. So I'm gonna catch it and I'm gonna relocate it. If it's over four feet, I can't do that, for those of you who live in Florida. Can I kill an alligator on my property? As we wait for this thing to pop back up, I guess I'll do some facts. Can I kill an alligator on my property in Florida? Alligators are protected under Florida law and FWC is taking those rules seriously. That means you're not allowed to shoot and kill alligators unless you're protecting yourself, defending yourself. 
but when an alligator attacks a pet, you're not allowed to shoot it. So even since it's ate my duck, I still wouldn't have the rights to kill this alligator. Next question, uh, what time of day are alligators most active? For instance, I knew this one already. I just screenshot it to show you guys. Alligators are most active between dusk and dawn, early sunrise and when night falls. So as you can see, you got the moon up above you. Oh, my back. Over there. And, uh, I think that was something that just popped up over there, but yeah, right now is perfect time. So if we don't get him tonight, we're gonna have to get up early in the morning and uh, hopefully we can get him then. I think he's right there. Not gonna lie, the lighting right now is kind of sick. Is it on camera? You, you, you think usually, it, you no, think honestly, be bad. it's weird because usually it is like that. Right before the sun goes down, we got good lighting. We're getting destroyed by mosquitoes out here. I'm gonna give it another like 30 minutes. Bubbles. Is it bubbles? He's right there. Another question and the last question, what to do if an alligator is in your yard? It says, just run in a straight line directly away from the alligator. Come up, buddy. He's gonna come up and see us and take off. Mosquitoes are gnarly. I really don't wanna let this thing in here for another night. Could take another duck overnight. They'll even come out at night and we can get a flashlight and shine and see if we can find the eyes because they glow. There that was him just popped up right there. See how I told you though? Yeah, he bubbles. popped up when he took right back off. So I'm, at this point, I'm literally just waiting for it to pop back up. There's a lot of bubbles right here. He's literally right here in front of me, but he's not coming up for anything. Like I mentioned, they can hold their breath for a super long time. The best thing I could do is call. Uh, if I wanted to get closer to me, I can even make the same noise. And I'm gonna make some noise like this. Mm. 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 Sounds literally exactly like this. You'll see a lot of people that trying to get alligators will make that noise because it attracts alligators. They're siblings when they're little babies and they're in like the weeds and stuff out in the wild, they'll make that noise and mom comes right away. That or vice versa. So these babies are like super attracted to that sound. <coughs> Getting destroyed by mosquitoes. Brother, brother, this thing ain't gonna come up for another 65 minutes and 30 seconds. So it'll be too dark by then. I'm gonna wrap up for tonight and uh, hit it in the morning. I'm gonna leave my rod out right here. I'm gonna leave this right here, and uh, we're gonna hopefully, hopefully, get them tomorrow morning. We'll wake up pretty early, get right out here, and do the job. See you in like three seconds. No, you're right, 100%. Look, the ducks are still not in the water. They're always in the water. They know. All right, fellas, it's a hunt. So the next morning, one of the turtles right there. And we are still on the hunt for this alligator. It's gotta be in here. The ducks will not go in the water. I mean, look, look, look at that. Come to the surface, we need to get this thing out of here. So from above view, really, there's no action. Oh, the ducks are in. There they go. There they go. I don't know, we kind of missed like the sunrise. So, um, we might have to catch it at like dusk when the sun's going down. I don't know, I wonder if he left. He could have left. We might have to make an episode two to this. Like literally, quite literally. I guess we'll just keep our eyes peeled for the next couple of minutes. I'll put the camera down. Now we're walking over to the other side of the property where the pond that we had half dug, not finished, because we want to make it a lot bigger. But since it's rained so much, it filled up. And the three ducks that always got picked on by the other ducks actually have been staying over here. Thank you, plane, appreciate it. But I thought to myself, maybe the gator got out and walked over into this pond. This pond is not nearly done. As you can see, it's got weeds all around it. And it's super, super deep though. This is like seven feet deep right here. Yeah, those grass things must be really long. But I'm actually planning on making this like out here, all around here all this like all that a massive pond and i'm going to be documenting all that so if you haven't done so already join the family hit the subscribe button make sure you turn the bell on so you're notified when i upload i don't see the gator over here hi ducks by the way glad you found another little spot that you can stay and not get uh, destroyed by males but yeah um we just decided to come over here and check this out and i haven't like showed this in a while too all right it is 3 55 p.m Current day, current day of this upload. Everything has eaten today. Today was like big feed day. I'm talking like everything had like full meals type thing. Look at the little turtles. Video coming soon, by the way. Haven't posted this video yet, but look at them. See that colorful shell under there? What is that? I don't know, but the video's coming soon. What are the chances I find the gator right now? If I don't see him right now, I am going to indeed make an episode two if I see him again. If I don't see him again, I'll just let you guys know in one of these videos like, hey, it left, it's gone. Between Brenton, Logan, and myself, we have been looking at this pond for hours, just literally going in and out, in and out of the house, waiting to see if we saw the gator. There's a big soft shell turtle right there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Come on, lighting, focus up. I'll put an arrow to it. You just barely see his little nose poking out of the water. I still have not seen any sign of an alligator today. No bubbles raising to the surface, no big wakes. 
Um, and we know there's big fish in here as well that we put in here and that have grown in here. And of course the ducks aren't in the water right now, which is a bit concerning, but that's literally all I got for you guys today. I wanna thank each and every one of you so much for watching. If anyone's watching on a desktop, you can see a join button down below as well as a subscribe button. Don't feel obligated, but if you do join that membership, extra videos weekly, I post probably like two videos a week, two to 10 minutes long on just stuff I normally wouldn't film and then I just post it on the channel with a private link so only the members can watch it. So far, the 200 something members I have are absolutely in love with the whole way I'm running it. So thank you to each and every one of y'all. I'll just put a bunch of names on the screen right here. Thanks to all the members. I got today's positive comment shout out too, right there. These videos are great. Congrats to you if you wanna win a positive comment shout out. Just drop something positive down in the comments down below and it's 100% possible. But yeah, back to the membership talk. If you guys do want to become a member, just click the join button down below. If you're on mobile, go to the computer, click join. And uh, you'll see these guys a little bit extra every week and much, much more. For instance, we went to the safari down the road in yesterday's upload on the member channel and saw some really, really cool animals. Baby rhinos, actually. They had baby rhinos. Super cool. Just thought I'd mention it. Once again, don't feel obligated. You watching these videos right here is plenty for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for watching these videos. Member or not, don't matter. Love you. That is all I got for you guys today. We did not catch the gator, but you know, maybe it'll pop up and I'll make an episode too. If not, that's a good thing because it's not going to eat my ducks. Love you. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. <laughs> really need to catch this thing.